that great. Uh, prepare for a while. 4,200 points. Oh, no. This is actually a pretty rough one for melee, I think. 93 Militaur. Man, oh, man. Oh, I accidentally hit extra speed. Crap, crap, crap. I can't believe I accidentally hit 4x there. There's so many military. <laughs> We're in danger. Uh, can you guys go eat? So many Militaur. So I was talking about before about raids are going to be really long in this playthrough. Might want to start using Wake Up as well. All right, there's so few left. I think we can just let them in. not gonna rebuild those ones we'll just pollute it the old-fashioned way human raids is a burn tunnel acceptable with the run parameters we could technically do one as long as i don't light it with anything ranged so i could use uh like you know attack something with a flame sword or use a flame id or have a boom rat or something but i'm not going to uh, I, I don't think so toxic fallout oh no whatever what are you gonna do the raider is fast enough to slow them down during a raid um raids are here a long time so yeah the pollution ends up not only giving us a benefit but it does give them a slight detriment yeah they are here a while because of how we have to kill them that was a four thousand point militor <laughs> so imagine almost two and a half times that size coming at us uh, flesh ball so close i can't wait to get flesh ball in here here we go yeah a new melee god the first melee pig god <laughs> It's not going to look like a pig anymore. All right, Flesh Ball, let's get you a name. Oink, oink. Blade Spark. Here we go. This will be the first time Krek has passed on his genes. All right, Krek, you know the rules. Do it from behind. Here we go. Blade Spark. Be ascended. Become the melee god. He still has the pig ears with the horns. <laughs> uh, here's our crafter. All right. Excellent. Excellent. So after he gets out of his little gene coma, we got stuff for you to do. Yeah, we're going to be replacing his arms 
Anyway, I'm always a little bit iffy on doing surgery when they already have reduced consciousness from something else, but I don't know if it really matters, but it's, it's, at the very least, it's a, a superstition type thing, at the very least. Uh, let's see, we, well, surgery success, let's see. 121% and that's without go juice, so I think we'll be all right. It's really nice not worrying about toxic fallout, to be honest. It's like, ah, oh, there's a toxic fallout, screw it. Let's go out on the road, doesn't matter. This crystal's up, he'll be trading again, and then we might do an ancient danger before Cassandra gets back on on her uh, her cycle. So tech print, nope. No arms, no legs, no. Oh, there's a cataphract helmet, nice. We'll take that and uh, yeah, that should be good. Normal run, how old is too old for you to recruit? On a normal run with nothing else going on, like if I'm not doing like age reversal or giving them Luciferium or whatnot, I try not to take pawns over 50 unless they're exceedingly good. Usually, not necessarily the hard cutoff, but the soft cutoff. No, still no cat cat print tech print at all, no. We've been looking. We've gotten like almost all the other tech prints. We don't have metabolism, healing factors, flesh shaping, or cataphract. We have no cataphract at all. Not even, not even the first cataphract. No, I don't have an aesthetic yet either. I've been keeping an eye out for an aesthetic. We actually had one that I was going to make into a royal, uh, but they died. Yeah, they were a slave and they died. Our, our prisoner, one of the two. Our best bet of getting the tech print is a trade ship, which obviously we can't um, we can't force a trade ship to happen. So we need to do art slave too. Maybe I'll keep an eye out for an art. Um, Someone's good at art and someone's good at cooking. Either of those or both of those, you know. And uh, grab them not to be calling us ever, but. Oh, right. Slaves can't do art. I need an art pawn. Wow, that sucks. Our, our art is minus eight, so we have to overcome that. Yeah, I don't know that's going to happen. So we might end up having to do fancier floor and get the beauty here stat in here if we want to do that, which is going to be more wealth. Or I can look at buying art. You have to buy it. Gold fences, yeah, that is an option. Yeah, that might be interesting. We can make the room bigger too. That'll help with impressiveness quite a bit. So let's put that on the on the to-do list here. Uh, I'm wondering if we maybe should pick up art trainers too. We could give it someone that's at least like a um, uh, great memory or, you know, ask learner or something. It'd be a crazy one. So we're going to keep an eye out for buying arts and or and maybe art trainers. Hey, Blade Spark is up. Blade Spark, get your Persona Zeus Hammer. Okay. All right. Operation. Uh, so Mind Freeze has lower manipulation than Christopher, so we're going with that. Stall, Architect Arm left. Architect arm right. Pretty crazy. Christopher, do your go juice. What's your surgery success at? 127%. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Hmm. Create a Terminator. A little bit. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, that wasn't the surgery sound. Here we go. There's one. Man, they're gonna be insane. You know, it's bad. We're like, hmm, hmm. Two architect arms. Crazy. We'll check their manipulation when they're up. Right now, we can't look at it because they're sedated, so it won't really be anything. <laughs> Blade Spark, the ultimate killing machine. They're gonna be a production specialist, too. Our first production specialist. 11 year old child. Please, mister, I'm being chased. By 16 man hunting rhinoceroses. That's not how it's pronounced. Click. Maybe go ask the Empire or something. I don't know. He invades later. Tamed the rhinos. What'd that kid do to agitate a whole herd of rhino? You know, that's actually pretty, uh, that might be the most realistic call in. I was screwed around. Yeah, yeah, what happened? Did you find out? What does that mean, sir? Click. I was messing around. I was throwing rocks at some rhino and they came after me. Yeah, that'll do it, kid. That'll do it. Our first production specialist. Momentous occasion. There was some jade up here I could grab. Make this room a little bit more impressive. It's going to get destroyed as soon as Cassandra attacks is the only problem. Um, I would like to... I don't know if this counts for Cassandra or not. The Wastepack infestation. 
When was the other one? This was, uh, no, that's warg hunting. Be if they have apromary. This happened on the tent. I don't think it is because she was on cooldown. Yeah, I don't think it counted. Normal infestations count, but apparently waste pack or waste pack infestations don't. To go ahead and make this larger, I'm going to just make this out of out of marble for now. So right now it's what? Um, very spacious. We can go. We can go higher. It's separate from Cassandra's cooldown. Yeah, that's what it felt like. Fortunately. <laughs> we have the speakers right behind the, uh, the hospital. It's alright. I'm going to move the hospital anyway. For now, they can jam out. I'm sure that'll help with their recovery. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I need another uh, shield belt. Alright, so the manipulation on Blade Spark, 165%. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so shield belt, we're going to have this done by Blade Spark. Alright, Blade Spark, make us proud. Make us proud. I'm feeling masterwork. Uh, it's not, it's an excellent. My brain was right, not my heart. Normal. <laughs> Normal would be pretty hard for a production specialist to get. Production specialist at 13 crafting. All right, the other trainer we have is an intellect trainer. I mean, he has great memory. Having it on him when he actually gets time would be fine. Let's just, let's just use it and get out of here. We can get more of those pretty easily. So now the room is up to... We actually dropped it to very impressive, though. Yeah, I do want to get this uh, more impressive. Floors. Floors will actually reduce it, as we'll reduce beauty. I don't want to do the fancy floors yet. So normal floors would not be great. Uh, we might actually do, instead of concrete, I might do paved tile. Paved tile might be okay. It's double the steel, double the wealth, but I don't get the minus wooden ugliness from concrete. We might do that. Raise our wealth a little bit, though. All right, how much would it cost this uh, paved? 1,052. Uh, it's going to cause us to uh, need to clean more, unfortunately. All right, let's do it. Let's see what it goes to. So right now it's at 108 impressiveness. When we get done making it, they'll clean it, and then uh, then we can see. Blade Spark working fast. <laughs> that manipulation is crazy. Extremely impressive. All right, extremely impressive. That's what we wanted, and that can has a little wiggle room with the dirt. So uh, that means we don't really need these, and we can put those in another room here. Let's see what this does. Although it does increase the beauty here stat. Okay, so it's very impressive with that. So if we want to stream, we do have to put the art in there. Okay. Aesthetic goods traders. No tough, no aesthetic. Can you floor all of it because cleaning? It, it depends, yeah. So the question is, am I okay with the extra cleaning? And especially because we have some people that all they can do is haul and clean. Am I okay with the extra cleaning compared to the wealth? Uh, that looks like a breach because of how small it is. That's a breach. All right. So for the breach raid, grab everyone. And our goal is to kill the actual breachers as they split off here. There we go. We're not going to be able to floor a whole base anyway because of uh, the mushroom rooms. Mushroom rooms. Does quality of chair and furniture only matter for beauty? No, it matters for comfort rate as well. For beds, yeah, rest gain as well, yeah. Having master worker legendary beds is almost as good as having a quick sleeper. It's it's kind of crazy. Oh god, flame bows! I made a guide on how crazy good flame bows can be. Crap, lumberjack! Oh, they're just burning their friend alive.
All right, see you later. Bye. They packed 10 new wagons of, of arrows, but forgot Pema, could you? They give up, they give up after about, what is it, like 16 hours or something-ish? Human raids will, human raids will. Max never give up. Let's do this. Not that we really need to, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, we're going to do it. I just remembered, you know, you can do this as well. So you can actually build the steelies as your artwork, right? You can't move them around afterwards, but 42 beauty baseline on that one, 15 on that one. We can do it with a construction person. Wait, right, we might try that out. All right, let's go ahead and hit these actually. Screw it. Went well, we didn't get the auto join though. Yeah, there is a zone to dig up pollution. That's what we've been doing in the base. Oh my God. Three positive rolls and we failed the coin flip on all of them. How do I avoid Collins falling in love with slaves? Oh, he's over it. Uh, I, I don't. Christopher fell in love with a slave and now she's dead. So he can't be in love with her anymore. So I guess that solved it. It wasn't ideal, but it solved it. He's no longer in love with her. I mean, he was upset about it for like 20 or 30 days, but now he doesn't remember who she was. Do some surfaces. Uh... All right, so we're going to reform the ideology and we're going to change the festivals. All right, that's all we're going to change. Now we can do six more. Mind Freeze and Blade Spark fell in love. Nice. What's the end objective? To get to your raid cap defend them with melee and then see the credits all right we gotta join griff great memory is good uh we did need another cooking slave so that's a maybe all right go again i think sacrifice that one maybe we'll see we did need another cooking slave to cook up more drugs we're gonna we're gonna expand our drug empire ouch we're really only gonna get one joint event in 12 festivals i don't know why i said it that way but Hey, it's like one Manabu. Hey, I remember Manabu from one of the runs. Manabu, abrasive. So unfortunate you can't you can't do art as a slave. Why aren't you just tough? If only you were tough. Here, bring this in. Never do hauling. All right. Let him do one art. No, it goes it goes against the it goes against the theme of the game. You know. I know. I make my, I'm making up the my own rules, but that was one of the things in the beginning. Them. we'll stick by it the way i got these other art pieces were from uh refugees so that's a little bit different and a child all right well last chance for 20 more days that's unfortunate we get stacked buffs they do up to a point yep the unforgettable party times three plus 37 fun party times three plus 19. <laughs> i'm actually gonna try this out i'm gonna go with uh steely that one's a three by three versus two by two or 120 ish don't kill my horse run christopher oh god please don't kill the horse <laughs> Horse more valuable than Manabu. All right, bye. <laughs> bye. So let's see. Your construction right now is at forty two hundred. Get a lot of construction experience. So what we could do is like when it's getting close to being done, we can just cancel and have to do it again. Yeah, look at that. That's actually flying through that. We'll lose a little bit of our resources, but who cares? So we just wait. We'll build copy here. Then close enough. Cancel it. Let me do it again. Waste some materials. Yeah, but it's just stone blocks. We have infinite of those. Yeah, you don't always get all your material back, no. It's just like, sometimes when you destroy a fence, you'll occasionally get wood material back, sometimes not any. It just depends. All right. On back. T 
tough kind. We might be kidnapping another pig. Ascetic, uh, he's unwavering. Really loyal. What about the other one? Tough kind. All right. So we're probably going to grab uh, Callie there. This will be like the third or fourth time I've just traded the pigs. <laughs> Steal the bacon once again. Oh, there she is. She's inside by herself. Get her, get her, get her. Got her. <laughs> Tough kind. And they can scan. My pig get, uh, pig napping again? Yes, yes, they am. Yeah, they're going to be uh, a new melee pawn. All right. Uh, how long has it been? Do we have time? Ugh, Sanders off cooldown now. Like, she just literally came off cooldown. Oh, no. Let him finish it. This furniture bears a betrayal of Sim staggering through a field with a visible rash. <laughs> Dozens of dying mallards lay on the ground. If you squint your eyes, the square composition of the image reveals the outline of a gorge. It tells the story of Sim's body becoming toxic. Remember that time Sim stunk so badly that they walked around and ducks literally died around them? I, I don't remember that. Well, I do, and I'm going to make some art out of it. It's 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 beautiful. It's, lo it's just lovely. Just lovely. Maybe you should lay off that psychite, but I'll die without it. Yeah, that's what they all say. Let's wait on Cassandra to hit again, and then I really want to go... Uh, let's attack some settlements for camps and stuff. See how that is for pawn acquiring. Okay, we're going to use convert on cooldown. Almost ready. Shooting inspiration. Imagine if we had to like execute someone anytime they had shooting inspiration. <laughs> no, that would, that would be too far. Let's talk more rating. That's right. Oh, we're already converted. This is perfect. There we go. Callie already. Wow. It took no time at all. All right. Let's get you a name. And oh, let's get in. Uh, Locke, you're in. You are in. Okay, who was ready? Oh, Christopher's ready for the gene implant. All right, Locke, we do this from behind. Here you go. Okay. Wow, we're going to be up to seven pawns. <laughs> seven pawns after five years. All right, so when their construction gets up to maybe like 10 or something, then we'll start working on beds with them. Right now, we're kind of just waiting for Cassandra to hit again so that we can go get some other stuff done. One star. It's a kid. Two raids, but Cassandra's about to come off cooldown too. Um, we'll leave it. If there's like a mech cluster that pops up within the five hours, we'll accept it. Otherwise, eh, mech cluster or a siege or something. Sim, inspire creativity. You can have them make a bed really quick. Okay, let's go grab Sim. We're looking for masterwork or better beds. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Ex excellent is actually better than some of the ones that we have, so... I'm actually kind of afraid of how big the next raid's going to be. I wouldn't doubt if we're going to have, like, a 5,000-point raid. Should your melee specialist, especially in reform ideology, have production specialist? They lose. If you no longer have the specialist in your ideology at all, then yes. But if you, you can have two different specialists, so you can have production and shooting specialists. A uh, single person can't be both, obviously, but uh, do we have any more genes ready? 7.6. We do. Mind Freeze has one, so. We have one more available if we find an aesthetic, which. Uh, yeah, we're almost at 5,000 raid points. Thought that might be the case. Halfway to raid cap. 30 wargs. Is Ancient Danger hunting paying off? Yeah, yeah, it has in general. Most of our weapons are from Ancient Dangers. Um, a lot of the other stuff that we've been able to buy is because of the gold we got and traded from Ancient Dangers. Um, we've got a bunch of tech prints, not the one that I'm really after, Cataphracts, but... Um, we got some Arco parts, Architect parts, and we got some Lucerium, of course. Well, Lucerium to close off wall. Uh, the only reason to do that anymore is if someone goes on a... Uh, like a destruction spree and punches it. Luciferium hasn't been the tar been able to be the target of a breakdown for a very long time. So the the only the only worry is if someone has a berserk and starts punching specifically the Luciferium. But if that happens, we'll just we'll just deal with that person. Yeah, people can no longer like have drug binges and take Luciferium or anything like that. So no reason to wall it in any, any longer, really. 
or less reasons, I guess I should say. They woke up the hive. It's interesting that the infestation hives are actually fighting wargs. They didn't join in. What? I've never seen this. Weird. What is going on? Apparently disturbed cocoons attack everything. They're just attacking wild animals even. Murder bugs, I don't care. We'll kill anything. Anything. That's crazy. Normal, normal bugs won't do that. Kind of nice though, because they all come to us instead of just eating it on our walls. That is quite the pile we got to get rid of so that uh, the next raid doesn't screw us over. Okay, we gotta get these doors shut. Someone that can do hauling, come here. All the guinea pigs rush it in, I know. <laughs> I will beat them to death eventually.